And last but not least, Warlocks, we are going to be looking at the Hex Rod set for you. We're going to be looking at some really, really cool pieces. And quick note, if you guys want to see the review for the armor, it's going to be right here. We look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and overall a good video, video in my opinion. We also have the shader video, which is all the shaders that I currently own, and I do own quite a bit on all of the armors so on all the classes as well so hunter titan and warlock you guys all have all the shaders on this armor so if you guys want to check that out definitely check it out hunters and titans you guys already have your videos they're all right here we are going to be doing what we're essentially going to be doing in this video where we look at all of the individual pieces make armor sets around them and overall some of them are really really cool so i would suggest you guys check those videos out but other than that uh just make sure you tell your homies about the channel fashion wise just overall trying to grow the channel a lot more but other than that let's just get into it so to start off we're going to be using the hex rot robes and for this one i am a big fan of this one because when i reviewed the briar binds which is right here you guys can check it out i said in that video that i wanted to essentially use the hex rot robes with the arms and i was right because they look both they look amazing so for the helmet hood of the taken king is what we're using for the boots veil tithe boots and then for the mark reason the lichen bond so i love this set i think it looks amazing i know some people are going to say that the shader that i use is kind of gaudy which is nebula rose granted it very much is but my reasoning for that is because nebula rose actually turns off the hood of the taken king glow and it's a purple so it goes well with the briar binds because if you guys don't know the briar binds specifically those like purple like clams whatever the fuck they are don't change colors so that's like killing two birds with one stone there i will say if i can find a shader that is a better purple and turns off the glow on the hood of the taken king i definitely would do that or Bungie could just let us turn off that glow because I think that glow is obnoxious. I think it's terrible, but I think this is the best look. I, I shouldn't say that. I don't even remember the other sets. So I'm going to say this one is the best one so far. As for the next set, we're going to be using the helmet hex rot hood with the light king gloves, the meridian constellation robe, psionic speaker boots and ancestral bond for all of those pieces for the shaders polycarbon powder for all of it except chit and slate for the mark so that way i can turn off the mark so this one i honestly just decided to go with something weird because the hex rot helmet i was like man i really should combine this with something like very naturey but instead i was like you know what i'm just gonna combine it with fur and that's where the meridian constellation and lichen robes came in and then for the boots i wanted something a little bit more more tactical i don't know why i just feel like the the contrast of like fur and nature looking stuff with like tactical boots would look cool and i think it actually does look pretty cool and then for the bond i just didn't want to bond in general so that's why i'm using the the combination of ancestral bond and shit and slate just because didn't want one and it's funny because if you actually see where the bond should have gone the meridian constellation has an indent for it which i think is just hilarious so i definitely like this set uh polycarbon powder is just such a good shader and i'm happy that i'm using it that being said i can definitely see people switching that shader out for something else because the orange is not in my opinion not great and some armor plating is very chromey so that's why i definitely would see some people switching it out as for the next set i think i've shown you guys this set in some previous videos if not just one video either way I love this set. I think this set is amazing. It might have been for the vestment of the taking or the taking king sets for the warlocks, but I do think this one looks a little bit better. So for the helmet, a pile of fallen hood is what we're using. For the hex rod stuff, we're using the gloves and the bond. And then for the other stuff, the vestment of the taking king and the aphotic lemolar boots. So for this one, um, it's the same thing as the last one. We're using crucible metallic to turn off the vestment of the taking king glow on the armor and that's really the whole point of that like a and the all the other and the other thing is the fact that the crucible metallic goes really well with the pylos following hood i think the red's really good together so for this one i decided to go with the hex rock gloves and hex rock bond because i wanted to have that really cool glow on the right side of the arm and then it connects to the actual bond itself so that's that's it that's that's really it and for the glow or for specific and for the shader we're using arable's glance because a i wanted a black there and b it has that really good red so this one is not too crazy it's not like something insanely new i've used this set before aside from the mark and the uh 
aside from the bond and the gloves but yeah i just wanted to do something really cool and i think this one is really really cool the only thing that is really unfortunate is the fact that i'm not using an exotic if you guys haven't noticed i haven't used an exotic for either the titan or the warlock i think maybe yeah the hunter i did but i don't think i used one for the titan or warlock yet so you would probably just want to switch this out for a, a helmet exotic maybe or boots i think boots would be the better option and last but not least we are going to be using the hex rob boots so this one another using another one using no exotic but this one i think is really really cool so for the helmet we're using starfarer's hood for the arms and the chest piece we're using the aswari set from the playlist what are from the playlist armor then the boots already said what boots we're using the hex rob boots and then the iron foreigner bond because the horns few things to know i think i should have done a better job with choosing the color because i was trying to combine it with the aswari bone color so i would probably just switch that out for something else or switch out the shader but overall i actually love this set. i think the helmet looks amazing with the aswari set and overall this one would be such an easy choice though i would probably switch out either the arms or the boots or the helmet because all of it will still look cool in my opinion so warlocks let me know what you guys think titans hunters warlocks let me know which one is was the best for you i personally really like a lot of the pieces for the hunters but i definitely think the titans or warlocks won because i just think a lot of those pieces are way better so let me know what you guys think again tell your homies uh make sure to spread the word of fix tony i would really much appreciate it because i make a lot of fashion content like i was like talking to my girlfriend the other day and she was like do other content creators do as much fashion as you and i was like honestly i don't think so like at least on youtube i don't think so there's probably some other people but not only do I do like full blown armor reviews with uh, shaders as well, individual sets, exotic fashion, like also a standalone fashion, like the, the tactical guardian video, the um, there's just so much, so much fashion that I do that I was like, man, I do a lot of fashion. So I would very much appreciate more people coming to the channel, um, interacting with it. To be fair, I should make a discord, which I'm definitely working on one, but it's just annoying. So I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.